everyone. Today we are going to be discussing the order of operations, or PEMDAS. By the end of this lesson, you will understand and be able to apply the order of operations, PEMDAS, to solve mathematical expressions. Now, PEMDAS is an acronym. An acronym is a series of letters that stands for something else. Parentheses, exponent, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Something very important to note when it comes to these letters is multiplication and division can switch their order depending on what comes first in the expression. So can addition and subtraction. You'll take a look at what I mean as we go through the video. First, you are going to solve anything in parentheses. So let's say that you are given this expression down here. Now this looks like a very, very intense, scary, long expression. But I promise you when we break it down with the order of operations, it gets easier and easier. So first you're going to solve whatever's in the parentheses. Well, I see that four plus three is in the parentheses. And four plus three equals seven. So that's what I'm going to solve first. As you can see, our seven down here has turned blue because it's finished. And now we can move on to our second step, which is exponent. An exponent is a small number up here that determines how many times you are multiplying the base number by itself. Two times two gives me four, or two to the second power gives me four. So now I can move on to division. Now this has become a four. Why, boys and girls, why did I not do multiplication first? That's right, that's because division is coming first as we look from left to right in our expression. So now I need to divide four divided by four. What's four divided by four, everyone? The answer is one. So now this becomes a one, and now I'm ready to multiply. One times six. What is one times six? One times six is six. And now I'm ready to subtract. Again, I know in the order of PEMDAS, we see that adding comes first, but here subtraction comes first in our expression. And subtraction and addition can switch around depending on that. So we're going to subtract first. Seven minus six gives me one. And finally, I have to add. One plus three is four. A really important tip is when you're solving problems using the order of operations, you want to rewrite the expression after each step to stay organized. Staying organized is extremely important when it comes to PEMDAS and the order of operations. This will help you see your next step easily. Let's take a look at what I mean. This is the first step that we completed. Four plus three in our parentheses became a seven. Then everything else, as you can see, is exactly the same. All I did was bring it down. That helps me visualize what comes next. Now I solve the exponent. The exponent then becomes a four. Look what I did to everything else. I brought it right down. Then I divided my four divided by four to give me one and I brought everything else down with it. Then I multiplied my one times six to get six, brought everything else down that was left over. Once I subtracted seven minus six, I got one, and I finally was able to add my three to get four. Good luck, and I hope you watch for future videos practicing the order of operations. Remember, the most important thing is to stay neat and organized and bring down everything that you have not yet used. Good luck. We'll see you next time.